name is Carmen Gisbert. I am a viticulture and pest management advisor for the University of California Cooperative Extension. I am in charge of the southern part of California working with table grapes and wine grapes in the counties of Riverside, San Bernardino, and San Diego. I'm working with a variety that is called Scarlet Royal. In the desert, we have high temperatures that uh, will interfere with the process of color development. We have found over the years that if we manipulate the water and we impose a mild stress on the plant, that makes the plant to start the process for color development. So with this study, we are trying to really pinpoint exactly the amount of water that the plant needs, and we want to understand when and how long we can impose a mild stress that will help us to start developing the color develop uh, process on the red varieties. When we water the grapes and we, if we overwater, we're finding that the, the color development is delayed. If we reduce the water, that is going to impose a stress on the plant. The plant, instead of investing all that energy in the shoot tips, those shoot tips stop growing and all that energy is being directed to the clusters for the color development and the advancement of the maturity. By that I mean an increase in sugars. So one of the things that is very important in the Coachella Valley is to harvest early because uh, the prices of the grapes are uh, great at the very beginning of the season and also because uh, if we advance the maturity, we're going to have lower temperatures. By the mid of June to the 1st of July, the temperatures will start rising really quickly, and that is going to impair the development of the color. So the early that we can promote the color, the better to advance the maturity and increase sugars. On table grapes, uh, the main driving is how it looks. It has to be early, it has to be pretty, and it has to be easy to grow. Uh, normally the retailers are looking for a certain size and certain levels of sugar. Uh, they look for the bigger grapes, and some varieties are naturally big. That's why we are also interested in uh, planting new varieties that are large just naturally. And also there is a standard uh, that is certain level of what is called bricks that will tell us the amount of sugar that is in the grapes. One of the uh, nutrients that is very important for maturity on the clusters is the presence of potassium. We found a trend that the early crop that we have last year was related with those grapes that were receiving a mild stress when the plants start showing color that is called variation, the very beginning of that developmental stage. And we found the highest presence or levels of uh, potassium in those that were uh, harvested earlier. The block that we have that was fully watered was harvested later and also show lower levels of uh, potassium. Uh, the trend that we found in previous research was that the grapes that were fully watered or overwatered were harvested later and the quality was not as good. So the ones that we uh, imposed some stress with the SAP analysis, we found that they had uh, better, better color and also were harvested earlier. And we found higher levels of potassium in it. We are uh, using uh, dendrometers. We are using it to help us to understand really what is happening inside of the vine. We're monitoring the expansion and contraction of the trunk that is going to be responding related to the levels of water that we are applying. Right here we have a dendrometer and is this computer and this computer has attached two tensiometers that are measuring the levels of humidity in the soil at 30 and 60 inches down. And each computer has attached three dendrometers. 
and each one in one of the vines. And what it does, it measures the expansion and contraction of the trunk depending on the amount of water we are delivering to the vine. We have this water meter so we will know how much water has come and we're going to correlate the amount of water that determines the expansion and contraction of the trunk and by that we are trying to understand what is the physiological stage of the vine itself depending on the amount of water that we are applying. And at the same time, we're taking samples from the sap to see what are the nutrients that are being present depending on the different treatments of water that we are imposing to the different uh, blocks of grapes that we are studying. As well, we have another study in addition to this to see if we can understand when the process to develop the color starts. That it would be with some um, more um, genetic uh, understanding of what is on those grapes are, are being imposed, uh, reacting to the different types of irrigation. And uh, in the end, uh, really the purpose of us is to develop tools for the grower to make better decisions.